My name is Max Edgley, I'm a PhD student at uh, the University of Tasmania in Sandy Bay. Um, my PhD is on uh, red druplet reversion in blackberries, which is a post-harvest physiological disorder which turns uh, a black blackberry which is picked at harvest and it's nice and black. Um, and then post-harvest, some random druplets on the on the blackberry start to turn red and lose their lose their colour. Um, you get a you get a mottled blackberry that's no good for consumers. So what what we're looking at in the study is uh, is we're going to end up looking at different punnet designs and different harvest techniques to try and reduce bruising and reduce red druplet expression. So whether that's picking early in the morning when the fruit's cool but not not too cold, or or not too warm, and and then looking at different punnet designs which um, might cushion the the fruit a bit more and and reduce its uh, vibrational bruising as it gets to market. Um, so obviously the fruit has to travel quite a long way getting from farm to market and we're looking at how that um, bruising along the way can impact um, fruit quality, um, especially in terms of red druplet disorder. We found that fruit that's bruised at a very, very cold temperature, less, so less than 2 degrees, or a very warm temperature of, of above 25 degrees um, is much more prone to red druplet expression and has a shorter shelf, shelf life altogether. Here at our Denorland field, field site, uh, we're doing a, a study on nitrogen fertigation and how it impacts the post-harvest quality of, of blackberries. Um, red druplet disorder can be affected by nitrogen fertigation, so we've got a, a low, a medium and a high rate going onto the, onto the blackberries during harvest here, uh, and then we're assessing that fruit uh, post-harvest to look at the quality aspects as well as the red druplet disorder expression. So we're about halfway through the nitrogen trial at the moment. Um, the preliminary results suggest that a high nitrogen rate can significantly increase uh, incidence of red druplet disorder post-harvest and a low nitrogen rate can reduce it. Uh, we're not too sure of the exact mechanisms behind that at the moment, so that's the next half of the trial is figuring out why that's occurring.